What's up guys, Chris Tips one how's everyone doing? Today we're gonna review Kodiak Wintergreen. We have a new can, this is by far probably the sickest can I've ever seen, even over all the Grizzly can designs. For some reason, this one just sticks better. This one just is freaking amazing, check this out. Again, very simple, very clean. They're going for kind of like that uh, last um, Grizzly can design. It's very simplistic, very modern looking design. And this whole can has this, I don't even know what color green this is, but it's beige and some mint type of green. If that makes any sense, mint green, right? Now Kodiak, this is 100% American tobacco. Um, regular Grizzly is 70%, 30% domestic, 70% American and Grizzly Dark is 100%. It's been, what, four or five years since I've done a Kodiak video, but my thoughts are the same, just like the, the last time I, re I reviewed this. If I could afford this, this will be my everyday tip. Um, Kodiak here is about a dollar or two more than Grizzly Dark or Grizzly Wintergreen, but um, yeah. So, if you guys don't know anything about Kodiak, Kodiak is basically a premium version of Grizzly Wintergreen. For me, it's more refined. The taste is almost identical, but you won't find any stems or anything crazy in this can. So here we go. I guess it's been a while since I actually packed the lip. Oh, look at that. Untamed in spirit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let me clean this out. Untamed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pack it up here and then I'm gonna give the boys a try of this and show off the new can, even though Jeff isn't a, um, wintergreen dipper. I don't know if he can add too much input on this, but Bradwell. Yeah. It's Grizzly Wintergreen, guys. You guys ever had Kodiak? It's Grizzly Wintergreen, just more refined, more cleaner. I, I It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but, and there's a lot of people who Kodiak is their everyday, for sure. But I do think it's the cut is probably maybe a tad bit finer. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, I've seen this can in pouches and in long cut. Um, Kodiak did, or Kodiak also makes a mint and a straight. I'm not sure if they discontinued those or not, but no joke, man. This can is freaking beautiful. You got some mountain scenery. You got Born to Rome. And let's see what it says here. In the realm of the wild, the Kodiak is king, untamed in spirit. It forges its own path, forward and without fear. A true testament to its bravery and the rugged Alaskan island from which it hails. I wish I would another crack this. Now I have to buy another can just to keep it on crack. Let's see if uh, Brad can distinguish the taste. Let's see what Brad thinks about this. What's up, Brad? Good. He's welding. He's welding the jugs, dude. Check this out. All right, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how good my aim is. Ready? Yeah, that was all right. Kodiak. Wow. New can, dude. I never knew they did any special cans. Me neither. I was buying dip this morning, and I saw it, and I'm like, give it. I want it. Try it out, dude. Wow. When was last time you had Actually, Kodiak? Oh man, last time I had Kodiak had to have been. A couple of years ago, Ugh. I remember I hadn't had it for a couple of years before that, so I tried it out and I remember not liking it. But what was the last dip you had right now or today? Grizzly green. Oh, okay. So they even out of my natural, it's horrible. So but let me know you know if you can tell the difference. All right, so my left hand here is grizzly green. That's the Kodiak. Oh, there we go. Now we can actually see the cut. Oh, the same. Man, it looks pretty similar, man. All right. Take a big one, I don't care, dude. The can's only like $24. Oh, shit. I paid six bucks, like five eighty for like Grizzly Wintergreen, and that was like seven forty or something like that. This is more expensive than Grizzly? Yeah, yeah, it's always I been. I thought this was the cheaper knockoff version. No, no, not at all. Just initially, if you were to close your eyes and pack that, you would think that's Grizzly Wintergreen, or do you actually taste the difference? Initially, not much of a difference. I think it's a little bit more mellow. Mellow? So far. Ah. Yeah. I've also had two dips so far today, so my mouth's already just... Can you tell the difference between Grizzly and Dark? Yes. For me, the Dark is more more dark. tamer. Yeah. 
I don't like dark as much. Oh, I love dark. And like, that's why I think they're so similar. Because maybe if you go from like regular Grizzly Wintergreen to to that, you might notice you might notice it. But if you go into Grizzly Dark compared to Kodiak, it's damn near the same, dude. Yeah, so far it tastes fine. I'm sure after it festers for a few minutes, I'll uh, get a better taste. But yeah, no, it's a little too early to ask you what still the flavor early. is. <laughs> but I mean, but yeah, no, that's actually a really nice can. That's a good one, you know, keep as a souvenir, right? Oh yeah. For sure. But you would rather pay two bucks knowing, cheaper. Knowing that this is cheaper, yeah, I'll yeah, get this. For sure. I, I, I thought that was the cheaper version. I really did. No, dude. It's always been a little bit of a premium price. Thanks, Brad. Thanks for your opinion, bro. Yeah, no problem. Take it easy, dude. It's a gloomy little day today. Gloomy little day. Oh, that's a lot. Huh. September 1st. Let's go see what Jeff thinks. Jeffro. So, have you ever had a Kodiak? Yeah. Years ago, I lived up in Oregon. I Wintergreen had straight, yeah. mint. It what was it? Straight. It had it been straight? Like, I know me it was straight. Well, this, check this out for yourself. All right, that's pretty red. Right? Got a cool can. Dude, what color is that? Would you say that's a mint? Because no, it's cause weird. It's like a mint it, green. Isn't mint more bluish? No, but that's the thing. Our minds trick us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. think that mint, because yeah. mint is always in a blue can. Yeah. No, it could totally be a green mint. Yeah, it's a green. Yeah. Mint. You know, it's a little chocolate with a little candy in it. Yeah. It's a mint. How's the dip? It's not half bad. It's not half bad. It's similar to Grizzly. Yeah. Um, I think Grizzly's better, but cool it's can. Just, oh, it actually that is really cool, right? And by the way, guys, okay. look at that shirt. He's rocking the disqualified tea. <laughs> Get it in my, in my shop. But all right, try some. Uh, I'm gonna have to pass on this one. What do you mean? What do you mean you're, what do you mean you're gonna pass? I just put a brand new dip in and I ain't gonna What are you dipping? This kind of stuff. Coke. Dude, you should definitely put that. Give me that. <laughs> no, no. You don't want to do it? No, nah, dude. Jeff. No, nah, over that? You want to? You don't want to try this? No, that's gross. Bro, you know what you're wearing right now, right? <laughs> oh. Jeff, you're disqualified. <laughs> Dude, you hate wintergreen that I, much. I can't. Yeah, I don't. I don't like wintergreen. But you'll do natty all the time. All day okay, long. so what about mint? Do you like mint? I could try mint. You could try I mint. Could try mint. You know, but I know that's not mint now. Smell I it. Wintergreen. Smell it. I what if I told you I put a can of here. natty in there? Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's natty. Now you know what. Oh. There you go. Add it. Christ. Look at. No, you, I'm not gonna add it. I'm gonna. Are you sure? Oh, okay, you can add it. Well, you're already disqualified, That's so. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Ugh. Who's this package? I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna give a couple shout outs here. Uh, what did that say? Rom Romeo Vargas, and who's that person? Preston. Preston Robinette. There you go. Shout out to you guys. By the way, guys, we are having our sale right now. We got so many new jugs out. So many jugs. Mudjug.com, guys. On the floor, we got so many jugs. We got, dude. So I would never buy that, ever. And I could only dip it maybe for about five, ten minutes, and I got to throw it out. Wait, so what is it? You don't like the flavor? I don't like the flavor at all. You don't like mm. the flavor. I've been chewing Natty for, what, 25, 30 years? So I'm just like... Yeah, but like me, I can dip Natty for a day or two. And I know and you I, guys all do. You guys can change up your dips. I don't change up my dips. Well, I, yeah, you know? I know. I understand. So, But, you know, uh, I but I mean, I would ask for your opinion, but you think it's shit. Not yet. So. <laughs> not see, I'm all right. more opposite of you. Mm -hmm. I like the Natties all the time. But you can do this. I can do winter greens, but regular mint, I can't stand it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, can't stand I, can it. I can do mint. We all this. Yeah. We're all well. We all have our own different opinions. Yeah. I guess that what makes us. Tequila, whiskey, beer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Captain Morgan. Captain, Captain Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. That is it for this review. Um, I'll catch you guys. I might do a Lego video next week. We'll see. We'll see. But I'll catch you guys next time. And you guys all know this. If you ain't dipping, you ain't living. <laughs>